Okay, so um, just want to talk about some painting basics. And um, I know I hear a lot of people always say, oh, you know, it's like it's uh, whenever you're painting, you're always having to deal with value. Value is most important. And, you know, it's more important than hue. It's more important than saturation. But I say, no, value is not the most important thing in a painting. The most important thing in a painting is shape. So take, for instance, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you why. It's because <laughs> value, no matter what value you choose, it still has to go in the right place. Um, you know, every time I, I, I find that whenever I start a painting, um, my, most of my, most of my time is actually spent, you know, in, in the past, uh, I would paint things worrying all about value, but then I found that most of my time was actually spent, um, fixing up problems of shape. You know, every time you see a drawing, everyone's always like, oh, you know, the arms off, the, the legs off, you know, this is, doesn't look right. That's distorted. That's a problem of shape. It's a problem of, of just incorrect perspective on something or incorrect proportions, bad forms. And most people want to, don't want to admit this to themselves, especially painters, <laughs> especially people who just say, oh, all I deal with is just paint. It's not the values that, that that's the problem. It's the shape. And so this is where drawing comes in. You know, you can't paint without drawing. You have to draw. And by drawing, what's you know what's drawing? Drawing is about creating an optical illusion. So, so take this this thing right here. You know this, this this picture for example that I've just drawn. I've gone. I've taken my um, my camera and I've basically right now this camera's mounted right between my eyes. Um, I got it on an arm and um, on a flexible arm, and then this thing this camera is basically pointing. So you're pretty much seeing exactly my own point of view, and you'll see that what I'm doing is I'm creating a room space. You know, I'm just creating this little space of a room. And people will say, it's like, I don't know perspective or how do you learn perspective or teach me about perspective? And, you know, uh, they, they're always trying to treat perspective as this thing that's like knowledge. But that's not true at all. Perspective is not knowledge. You don't, no one knows perspective. Nobody knows perspective. That, that, that's, you can't know perspective. You sense perspective. You see perspective. You use perspective. Um, anybody who, you know, walks around, you know, walking down the street, not getting hit by a car, not banging into walls and stuff. They have their own natural sense of perspective. They can sense what's going on around them. And so the problem that many people have when they're drawing is when they see a flat canvas like this, they see it as a flat canvas. The other problem is that they they perceive it as a flat canvas. They lose their sense of perception. Uh, they lose their sense of perspective. So what you have to do is the reason I've, I've taken this camera rather than, you know, say, showing you this... Um, this view here, okay, this is like, this is just the regular flat view, you know, from, from the screen capture, even though I'm, the reason I'm showing you this camera is because this shows you what's going on outside the canvas. You have to take the perspective that you've got outside the canvas and you extend it into the canvas. You know, you've got to draw in the page, not on the page. So this is the most important part to, uh, to, to perspective, you know, to, to painting is that you are you know, drawing within the canvas. So when I start adding things like scribbles and, and, and whatnot, I start, you know, scribbling on the canvas, you know, you'll see me adding little points and stuff. It's like, I want something way off in the distance over here. You know, wherever I'm drawing on the canvas, I can sense, you know, I can kind of tell, well, if I draw down here, it's really close to me. You know, I can, I can say if I start putting like little, you know, I can put like a little person off there in the distance, you know, and, and maybe I'll move him down a little bit because I don't want him standing right on the horizon line. You know, so I've got a person who's standing far away. You know, I can make a person who looks like he's, you know, standing closer. He's the same size guy, you know, and, and then I can just take a, a third, you know, and let's make him about that big. And, you know, this is this is what the, the perspective stuff is. It's just you sense it, you see it, and... There's really not much more to it. It's it's actually really simple. All, all these, you, you notice that I'm not drawing tons of vanishing points. I'm not drawing um, a gazillion different guidelines or, or or anything like that. I'm just, you just see it. You just use the sense of perspective that you already have. All those perspective books that you've you know that you've been picking up, which tell tell you about you know three point perspective, two point perspective, and this and that. All the, the whole concept of three point perspective, two point perspective, et cetera, et cetera, goes out the window when you start having uh, landscape pictures that have landforms that aren't boxes, you know, and, and don't conform to a to ninety degree angles and conform to grids and, and you know any of that kind of stuff. So, you know, you just don't even worry about about you know perspective. You just see it. Just 
take whatever you have out here and extend it into there. That's all there is to it. So anyway, that's that's the first basic, you know, perspective, how to see, you know, you don't have to learn how to see, you just see. <laughs> oh, okay, you, you just you just <laughs> you, you just have to pay attention to what's going on out here and make it happen in there. That's that's how how you see. And, you know, you don't do that by, by, you know, tunneling in and, you know, pushing yourself really close to the canvas, you know, and, and, and you know, working like this. Because if you work like this, now, of course, look, it flattens out. It doesn't, you know, you, you've got to stay out here. You know, only when it's time to start doing tiny details and whatnot do you start moving in. And, and even then, you know, you don't spend too much time moved in. All right. Now... So that shape. Actually, you know what? I'm going to uh, stop this recording right here because that's, that's that's a nice little tidbit of information. You know, um, again, this drawing, there is no value. There's no value on this. There's no value. I mean, there's lines, okay, but that does not count as value because there's no lighting. All right, it's entirely just surface form. All right, that's what the shape's for. So it's just value. It, there's no saturation. There's no hue. Right, it's there's no value. There's none of those three things that, that we care about so much in painting. All there is is just you know volume and shape. And if I if I want, you know, I can say, let's let's go to the next step. And the next step is turning these outlines into well, you know, actual silhouettes and, and volume. So I can, you know, I can start just you know blocking, you know, filling them in really. I'm just going to fill that in. Okay, and, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some, you know, slightly different values. And I'm going to go from light off in the distance to dark in the foreground. You know, sometimes it might be the other way around. It might be, you know, top down. In this case, I'm taking, I'm using depth to, you know, the distance between, or rather the depth in the picture to adjust this. So, you know, the closer something is, you know, the more dark I will make it. This is just, it's like simple atmospheric perspective. I can take, you know, this, this color out here, and maybe I'll, I'll spill that in there. I'll just shade him, you know, a, just like a tiny bit. And, you know, that is, you know, the first step, is, is it's just getting this simple block diagram. Now, I guess, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's stop the recording here. And, and, you know, we'll, we'll get into the details next. You know, I'll, I'll show you, you know, how to actually work this paintbrush, how to, you know, various techniques that you're going to need to, to use. You're going to have to learn how to use your brush properly, believe it or not. There's, there's actually a, a proper way to operate a brush. Anyway, um, that's for later.